Hello everyone, you are watching BSG Online number 6 and we have a great run for you right now, it's Star Fox 64 or, a fun fact, if you're in the PAL region, Lilat Wars um, yeah, it's going to be a score attack run by Adam, and so yes, please take it away, Adam, tell us about the game. Alright, thanks so much for that introduction. Welcome everyone, this is, like uh, like what was said, Star Fox 64 score attack run. Uh, joining me today is my wonderful co-commentator, uh, Safety Man. Safety Man also runs Star Fox 64 as well. I also, I, um, about the game, You hopefully you guys know the game already, uh, if not, basically... Fox's dad, James McCloud, died, and now you're basically avenging his death and trying to defeat Andros and save the Lilat system once again. But also, but in my case, we're going to do it with the, trying getting the most points as humanly possible. I do have that value, actually, right now. I literally just got the world record in this game for score attack uh, last week. About, oh. about... Damn, son. Just, okay, now I'm going to have a break 1,800. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, yeah, just about... 10 days ago now? No, 13 days ago. 13 days ago. It'll be two weeks tomorrow. We're counting now. Um, yeah, yeah. it'll be two weeks tomorrow. I broke the record. Uh, 3,085 hits. So that is now the officially highest score ever legally obtained. Legally. Legally. Excuse me, there are not that many enemies in the game. Uh, you will see in a second. I know how uh, the trick is <laughs> Okay, uh, so anyway, let's get to the map here. Uh, so you guys know probably are pro probably familiar with the route normally is Corneria, Sector Y, Aquas, Zonus, Macbeth, Area 6, then Venom 2. But recently we actually had a new route discovered uh, that goes same Corneria, Sector Y, Aquas, Zonus, Macbeth, but we go to Bols instead of Area 6. And then we go to Venom 1 after that. So, it's a little bit different route. There was a, recent, a new score strat discovered in Bowls not too long ago that uh, myself and a, a, one or two other, a couple other runners have been able to uh, get a good grip on and have now been able to use it, implement it in our runs, which has led me to help me get the world record in this category. So yeah, all right. Uh, safety, anything else before I start? Thanks, I'm, I'm glad you called me wonderful, by the way. Oh, hey, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I love you, Adam. He memes a lot, but he memes well. <laughs> The, the plot of the story starts with Corneria, fourth planet of the Lilac. Oh my gosh, okay. We're just gonna go. So, right. I will give you, uh, t we'll do a timer start here in a second. And then we'll go ahead and start with the game. Alright, timer start in three, two, one, go. Good luck and have fun. Or, as they say in Lilac. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll, I'll take over the technical explanation. So right now, we're trying to get a, a high score as possible using whatever means possible. Uh, generally, uh, on paper, you think to shoot everything down and then bomb everything you can. Well, uh, the, the R-Wing in this game has given a feature called the Locked On Charge Shot. Uh, one thing that uh, the instruction manual actually never tells you is that if you hold Z and R at the same time, you can actually have your shots not lock on at all. And we'll be using that throughout the run, we should call that the Charged Unlock Shot, or CUS for short. And the thing about the Charged Shot is that for any enemy that's caught within the uh, area of effect or that gets splashed, you actually get a hit bonus. So a lot of uh, Star Fox score running isn't necessarily about what you hit directly, but what you hit indirectly. So right now, Adam's going to be trying to hit as many enemies indirectly as possible using uh, either the ground or buildings or whatever whatever to get as many hit bonuses as possible. So this mech here that Adam is shooting, uh, the base is actually flagged as an enemy even after the, the top of it dies. So you can continue shooting around the base and you'll get a single point uh, extra added to your score. So this, there's a mech behind this building who's just shooting the ground. And then he's going to approach the checkpoint with a couple more mechs which he's going to try to hit not directly. And coming up there on the we checkpoint. Go. 171. So, mm -hmm, 171 checkpoint, that's pretty good. So you're probably wondering why Adam is uh, uh, going to die here. It's because if you see those three enemies after the checkpoint, uh, the game counts your score at the moment you hit the checkpoint. So since those enemies are ahead of the checkpoint, they actually respawn and we get to kill them again for even more, for more points. So you'll be seeing this... Uh, Evident most in the next level, Sector Y, but uh, for now, it's just more charge shotting and more hitting things indirectly. 
Yeah, and I just like to emphasize, I, I, I played this game a lot back in the day and speedrun it in various points. And this is a very technically difficult game to, to master, and I, I have a lot of respect for, for you guys that can and sit there and do these score attacks, because these are hard. Like I said, my best score when I was a kid was about 1800. Ah, Alright, I messed up a little bit there. You can get a lot of points on that portion if you do it right, but uh, I just mistimed a couple shots, that's all. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. So given that we need to go to Sector Y, uh, Adam, uh, one has to save Falco, which he just did, and fly under these seven arches uh, in order to unlock the alternate uh, hidden ending, I guess, to this level. Yeah, call, it call the alternate ending. We can go with that. Took me forever to serve it out of <laughs> Me too. You're not alone there. Uh, just quick question though, we do have a, a, a bid war for this game about uh, saving which party member, or none of them? Yes. And, um, when mm -hmm. would you like that cut up? Uh, right as we enter Bolts, please. Yes, no problem. The end of the in the death box, guys. Okay, that's no problem. Yeah, just like I say, currently that uh, saving none of the team members is in the lead. Oh, so like we're to savage them. today. <laughs> yes, if you like, like to see Peppy, uh, Slippy, or Falco saved, uh, get your donations in then. If you don't want to see them save, get your donations in to get those on ahead so that no one else can save them. Alright. Alright, so we'll end this level with a nice 329. So, I think that's a pretty good start. But this is just where the fun begins. <laughs> so, we will be going to Sector Y next. Uh, Sector Y is probably hands down the most technical stage of the run. Uh, it is basically very precise timing and very precise. Really, Falco? <laughs> okay, that's a. Okay, that's a first. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, so that has very, very uh, rarely happens to where if you're in the right position, your teammates can come from behind you and just crash into you. Uh, and then with righteous indignation call you up and say, Watch where you're flying! Yes. They will they sometimes they will get mad at you for that and just say, What? What do you think you're doing, Fox? And you're thinking, You read it to me, watch where you're going. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> uh, thanks. Oh, do we have any donations by the way? Uh, currently don't have any time. Okay, that's fine. Either. It's okay. Just wanted to double check because I know we kind of talked to the boss. I, I always hate to do in that boss for single layers. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a pain. Especially when you go into it with hypers and then you, you get wrecked like I did. <laughs> <laughs> another, thing is, okay, another thing we actually forgot to mention is that we're playing on X. Oh, yes. So, uh, X okay does there, spawn uh, in some levels more enemies than main game would so it also comes with the caveat that if we crash into any solid object or our wing or enemy we instantly lose one of our wings which means we also instantly lose our laser power up which really makes life difficult yes and painful it, it it's makes just, it it's just suffering painful. it's a straight quarter damage quarters your damage right mm -hmm. yes uh also I, I don't know if you said but all hits are double damage in expert mode yes so, yeah. all right, sector Y time. Uh, I'm going to do a quick restart just because I need I would need three bombs to start. So do that real yep. quick, and then we can start a merry way. So safety, take it away. All right. So sector X. Um, sector, sector Y. Sector Y, <laughs> sector y is a space level, so we're still going to be using charge shots indirectly as to get as many points as possible. But in this level, uh, there are a lot less things to hit or uh, to to bank our charge shots off. So one thing Adam's going to be doing is he's going to be taking advantage of the fact that charge shots always explode after a set distance. So right now Adam's going to be placing these charge shots uh, pretty much at the moment an enemy spawns in order to get these hit bonuses. Uh, three, nine missiles coming up here. Yep. This is uh, very, very difficult, and Adam got all nine of them. Good job, Adam. Uh, you basically have less than a half a second to hit that shot. We do use uh, a bunch of audio cues in this level. Some of those audio cues are just missiles crashing into things and explosions. Oh, that was missed by me, but that's still okay. Still got 105. You're good. Yes. 
So we do a barrel roll there to spawn these missiles. Barrel roll! Place where we can hit both of them. Did I say barrel roll? I meant someone. Yes, you, you said barrel roll. <laughs> okay. there's, no, there's no such thing as a barrel roll. It's an alien roll, by the way. Oh my gosh. Oh. Also, the U turn's technical name is the ML Man turn. Oh, I did not know that. Thank yeah, you. I'm trying to ML Man turn. If I could, I would. Alright, right, we're good. Right. You didn't need those wings, you're fine. Nah, I don't I never have them at this point anyway, so it's okay. The game prioritizes your wings over your health. If you have broken wings and you hit a supply box, the game will give you uh, a wing repair even if you have like one pixel of life left. Yes, that is it's an unfortunate part of the game. It's like I really need health right now, please give me health. Nice checkpoint, Adam. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good checkpoint. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna be uh, taking a death here, uh, just because there. If you if you notice those enemies before the uh, the checkpoint, there was a set of four, uh, and sorry, a set of five and a set of five missiles underneath. Those actually get respawned and you actually get to kill them. So if Adam does the checkpoint right, he can get up to I would say 15 to 20 extra points on this death coming up. All right, let's, no. let's do this. No. Nice. I don't know how many that was, but... Chat, which, which one has the most annoying no? Slippy. Okay, so, so which was the least annoying no? Falco. <laughs> yes, okay. Falco hands down. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, that was actually good. Though. That was, yeah, so that was have... decent. So one, if you ever noticed the, the uh, stage is actually panning down, that also affects the trajectory of our, our charge shot. So when, when Adam was shooting those groups of enemies, he had to aim his uh, shots far above and account for the game panning. It takes a lot of practice to get that right. It, trust me, it was many hours of doing this, or many dozens of attempts trying to get that right. Yeah, many, many Twitch streams of me just laughing at him failing. Yes, also that. All right, here comes a mech. We're gonna shoot it a bunch of times. Take him down with one shot. Take him down with one shot, not four. Adam, you're missing the script. Okay, and maybe I want to do it in four, not one. I don't have to listen to Falco. Yeah, you don't. Peppy's the advice giver in this game. That's that is true. And we we listen to him like never. So this mission, uh, in order to get the accomplished ending, you need to, de to defeat a hundred, get a hundred score. Adam's at four hundred right now, so it's like. Wow. <laughs> four forty-nine. That's a marathon PB. <laughs> wow, very impressive. I've not gotten that high before while doing this in a marathon, so I'm pretty impressed with myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's just call it a fluke out of Yeah, okay. It's yeah. a one-time thing. It was just yeah. never meant to be. But fun fact, I have died on this portion before. Not from these I guys. I didn't mention it, but you did. I, I, I did die once during a marathon before. I don't plan on doing it this time, so... Yeah, you got full health, Adam. I ha yeah, so I have pretty high health yeah. right now. The last, Adam, the last marathon that Adam did, Shogun Warrior actually killed him. So I had to redo that whole part again. <laughs> I mean, it was worth it. You got a higher score, but at least we all got to laugh at you, Adam. Yeah, that that is very true. It's it's a very common thing. My chat just likes to laugh at me a lot. It's okay. It just means we love you. It's okay. Come on. Come on, Shogun. There we go. Thank you. You're not taking me down today. <laughs> What's that? Best scream in the game. Oh, yeah. Shogun Warrior. Agreed. <laughs> he sounds a lot more, oh, very different in the Japanese version. Yeah, okay, also meant to bring up the uh, Japanese score running community is also a thing. Uh, we have a couple prominent runners. We have uh, Moot W, M O O T W, and Itsuhito Niko Niko. Uh, both are very high level players also in the Japanese community. They mainly they run on the Japanese version of this game, which is slightly different than the American version of the game. Um, 
to the extent of sometimes enemy spawns are different, enemy locations are different, just a slightly different. There's also a little less lag in the Japanese version compared to the American version. Um, yeah, just those, those are like the primary differences. Those are other people in the community as well. If it doesn't show that American technology is behind the Japanese, they have less lag than us. Mm -hmm. No, this game doesn't lag that much. No, oh, well, you're about to see. <laughs> he says going to Aquas. Yes. <laughs> lag actually helps score runners, so. It does help, the yes. Lag actually does help with score running, despite popular belief. And I. You know what, we're gonna do it. Just, we'll go for it. We'll see what happens. Are you gonna take gonna a dip the the Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna play it safe. Okay, so we are. Yeah, so. so Adam's gonna get a, a ring here and then quickly die just so we have max health. So we don't. So we minimize our chances for another retry. While he's doing that, I'll take a, a uh, time to explain the Blue Marine, the next vehicle we're using, or vessel. What do you call an aquatic vehicle? I don't know. Not Anyways, the Blue Marine. Oh, sorry, say it again? It is a vessel, but yeah, go ahead. A vessel, okay. Blue Marine is slightly different from the R Wing in I'm that we actually don't have charge shots. Instead, we get an infinite supply of torpedoes, with the infinite symbol right under the power meter. Uh, these torpedoes are are shot by pressing B. Uh, the difference is that, uh, or the similarities to the charge shot, is that the torpedo actually has the same explosion and the same property as the charge shot. So any enemies that are destroyed within its splash or in its vicinity area of effect will give you a hit bonus. But the difference is we don't have to charge these. Hmm. Uh, okay. So if we so what Adam will be doing is he'll be going next to certain enemies and detonating charge shots as fast as possible using uh, objects in front of him, like that seaweed. And as you'll see, he can stack up a bunch of hit bonuses doing so. I'm sending the data to you guys. So the the types of objects uh, we'll be using to get these uh, fast explosions are are unique to this level. So right there, he used that coral reef to get a, to get extra hits. Now he's using the wall. Come on. Thank you. There we go. 60 is about average where I get here, by the way. So getting these actually hit ones is actually a lot more precise than it looks. Adam right now is going to nose stuck him into the floor. No, I'm not. <laughs> Whoopsies! Well, he's going to try to nose dive into the floor. Try again here. And shoot the floor as fast as possible while angling our nose down. Getting these charge shots to explode as close to him as possible. There we go. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, that's better. You still got 100. Yes, I still got 100, so I'm okay. I think your PB run had 109. Yeah, yeah I'll say. Behind. It's beautiful. Yeah. So coming up here, we have pillars. And you'll see some of these pillars have a weak point or a destructible point. So these are the only pillars that are going to give us hit bonuses. He's going to use this piece of seaweed here to spam a bunch of torpedoes, get a bunch of hit plus ones. And we got a couple more destructible pillars coming up. These are actually um, very, very critical if you want to score on this level because they're worth, uh, I want to say, around 15 points each. Probably. It sounds about right. More. <clears throat> so two more coming up on the right. He's going to angle his nose down, firing shots to the ground. Now he's going to use this pillar adjacent to it to try to get points. And... Yeah, I got it. Adam, you messed up the beginning. How are you doing this way? <laughs> it's the nature of Aqua safety. You missed the first freaking I know, but I'm still doing this well. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. I won't count my blessings just yet. All right, so some strategic breaking to set up this this one squid to so we can get torpedoes on that seaweed, and he just did. Are we gonna take the death at 258? Uh, nah, we're just gonna go. All right, just go. Yeah. So that one enemy, you can die and respawn it, but uh, you don't got time for that. It's a speed run, right? It's a marathon run. It's a marathon okay. speed run. Marathon score run speed run, however you want to call it. Wow, three things in one. A three for one. Yeah, it's a three for one. There we go. Oh. He's just score attack, guys. <laughs> That's fine. Ah! <laughs> that also works. Keep shooting. We've got lots of torpedoes. So, go ahead. Go ahead. No, nope. no, go ahead. No, nope. go ahead. I'm trying to focus. I was just gonna say, Slippy has has enough money to buy infinite torpedoes, but not everything else. 
He's smart enough to be able to analyze all the enemy information, yet not smart enough to not get hit by a giant robot hand. Exactly. So if you guys don't know what he's talking about, in Sector X, which is a level I don't run, um, Slip, if you should. If you take too long beating the boss, Slippy's like, oh, help, I'll help, I'll do it, and then he gets beaten and smacked yeah, by a Yeah, he just gets robot. smacked, and I somehow didn't get that? Okay. So those are triangle um, starfish. Jellyfish. All these things, yeah. yeah. So they don't actually offer you any points, but if you shoot them, uh, they do stay still. So what Adam's doing is he's freezing them in place and then shooting them to get points off the starfish that are coming up. Now come back with a rather difficult shot. See if Adam can hit it. He's going to angle it down and hit the ground and try to destroy all these rocks at once. Uh, uh, close enough. Close enough, yeah. As in, if, you, if you get a hit plus seven or above, your teammates will acknowledge you. Like, great job, Fox! <laughs> Alright, last portion here before the boss. Then we have Bakun to greet our presence. Oh, these bosses have names? The giant clam, yeah. I found the bioweapon! Oh, Strange enough, the, the names are actually displayed in the 3DS version, not the. Uh, Oh, this will be a 400. Wow. 400. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Adam, we're going to do it together after we beat the boss. You know what I'm talking about? The big giant clam is dead. You didn't kill the boss yet. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Uh, I, I got ahead of myself. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry. So Don't do it yet! To, one thing to note about this boss is that there are three barnacles on top that give us hit plus three. Uh, so we take him out before getting rid of the uh, the top part of the shell. Alright, do we have any donations, by the way? Just wanted to check to make sure. I uh, currently don't have any any new donations in, but coming up next is going to be Shadow of the Colossus, and there is a bid war for that as well. Uh, it's currently ten dollars out of fifty, but so so just forty dollars, guys, and you can get um, the incentive map for Shadow of the Colossus, and you will get to see uh, show all the animal locations. Ooh! I says forty dollars away, guys. Now, of course, there is uh, still the incentive to, for which one of the team members we're going to save, too. Currently, none of them is in the lead. Good, that's what we normally do. I like to hear that. <laughs> I just love the uh, I love at the end of the game where it's just like awkward silence. Yeah, it's just basically silence because normally it's a bunch of your uh, allies just say, Hey, great job, Fox, you did it, you did it! And then it's just like nothing. Yeah, it's just dead pan silence as he floats through space. It's so awkward. Well, it's because you got the bad ending. There. There we go. Fake you did it. But did we know? Yes, we, we got did. Scammed. We got scammed. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is Aquas, which that was also a marathon PB. I've never gotten 400 before. Or at least 400 before, so yay. <laughs> getting 400, I didn't even know it was possible to get 400 in this one or the previous one. Uh, getting, yeah. The world records for both of those, I think, are about the same. Like, four. So, sector Y is 484, and Aquas is like. Thanks a lot, Peppy. Sector Y? Oh, sorry, Sector Y. Oh, no, Sector Y. Yeah, Sector Y is 484, and Aquas, I believe, is 460 something? 464, also, I think? I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah. Uh, hooray, time save for 400, yay. Um, yeah, I'd like to note that right now, end of level 3, you've already beaten the score of many of the people watching. <laughs> Okay, Adam's a professional. I guess. I'm so I'm a full time PhD student, part time score runner is what I like to call myself. <laughs> At what point is it are you are you no longer playing a video game and you're just instead working a video job? Great question. When you do it for more than twenty Next hours a week. Question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna head to Zonus. This is probably gonna be the second highest level we have today. Uh, for tonight for the run. Uh, so this is actually probably the funnest level out of the wall. 
Yeah, uh, for a lot of uh, people with skill in this game, the, the generous age bonus is one of the more fun levels because uh, while there's a lot of things flying on screen, there's actually very, very minimal randomness, or RNG as speedrunners like to call it. So every enemy, every fish, every bird that spawns this level, uh, Adam knows exactly where they're going to spawn, including these ones that are about to come out of the water. I hear you. Nice. So as Slippy uh, tells us to watch out for the searchlights, uh, searchlights are the main uh, mission in this level. Go. So every time you destroy a searchlight while it hasn't spotted you, it'll give you a free hit plus two, along with one point and then the indirect shot hit plus one. So basically four shots for every searchlight we destroy when it hasn't spotted us yet. So at the beginning of the level, he's going to destroy all of them because we want to get those hit plus two bonus hits. But towards the middle of the level, we're going to purposely miss one because missing a searchlight does spawn more enemies uh, later on. So right now, shooting these uh, these, these shrimps or these prawns, jumping out of the water, Adam knows exactly when and where they'll spawn. And here comes Miss Monroe. You mean Cat. Yeah, her last name's Monroe. Oh, it is? Yes. Wow, I did not know that, actually. Because she always ruins everything. That I, Every time I do something well, it was always Cat that ruins it. <laughs> and so I never really bothered to care. <laughs> but now I learn something new every day. Adam, your score is kind of high. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore it right now. <laughs> Alright, just ignore it. Let's talk about Cat. Well, that was an interesting conversation about Cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she comes back in another level too, and we'll do the same thing she's about to do in a second. Oops. I've always quite liked her, and this has always been my favorite level, because there's so much to do, and it's also a level that rewards you for being better. Which I, which I quite like. Yeah. yeah, so this was actually the first level I learned how to do with score running, actually. Uh, I don't know why, I just love Zonus, doing Zonus so much. It kind of rubbed off on me. How much do you love Sola? Sola <laughs> <laughs> is actually really fun. Ask me how, uh, ask me how my up. chat treats me during when I do a uh, star control. <laughs> When I do solar, solar, I have to restrict them a little bit because they get a little too unfair. So as you can I see, think uh, solo wouldn't be anywhere near as bad if your teammates just shut the hell up. Yes, agreed. Yeah, and your teammates take damage only when they talk. Exactly. <clears throat> so Adam missed the searchlight there. It's so basically every uh, boat you see here is generally extra enemies. So these boats here wouldn't spawn if we got in the searchlight, so at that point it's worthwhile to miss that one to have these extra enemies yes. spawn. Yes! So a bunch of cussing, a bunch of indirect Ooh, shots, nice indirect plus hits. Six. Adam's gonna do a somersault here to delay the spawn of two enemies. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, it was a very cool strat where you use the uh, the um, damage from the explosion under, on the underside to hit the boxes on the top. Yes, I actually missed that first shot, but the second time went better. All right, we're good. We're good. Fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine, Adam. Except your left wing. Yes, except my left wing. My left wing is not fine. And so was that shot I just horribly failed at. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry, nobody saw. Saw what? I don't know. <laughs> Those boats did. Alright. Uh, so this boss is a little bit tougher to do with just one wing, but the score is not that bad. Alright. Yeah, that one's... That one can be a bit intense focus, just because all the, sh the timing of shots and everything, just to make sure everything goes well. Uh, also, shout out to Jeez Louise. God. <laughs> okay. Uh, Surprise Papa says that. It's not unlike him. 
That's not very like him to say that. I'll oh, teach you some respect. Yar, yeah. ha, 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 yes, har. teaches me some respect by shooting a very large and spiky ball at my ship. That's a great way to teach me respect and a great way to get a bomb at your ship. You know, I heard this boss lives in a pineapple under the sea. What? It's a pirate. Oh, oh, oh. Yar, har, fiddly bee. Okay, why am I having trouble with this all of a sudden? There we go. Alright, speedrunning trick coming up. Yep. And... Boop. So if we shoot that crane and then angle our nose upwards, it dies in one hit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there we go. Sorry, had to count make sure I got all the bombs. So as you can see, Adam, uh, you're gonna increase his bomb count because every time you destroy those cannons, it gives you a bomb. Because you need bombs to destroy this boss. But uh, the purpose of those bombs isn't for this or the level coming up, the level after. And uh, I'll explain it when we get there. <laughs> yeah, let's just explain it when we get there. I don't want to spoil anything, right? Not yet. Not yet, because that's the fun part of the run. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, just a reminder, we still have that donation incentive going. Uh, sometime between. Probably run, right as we start the sixth level, which is Bolts, we will be shutting off that incentive. So make, if you want to save Peppy, because for some reason you think he's a great character, uh, make sure to save him. Or if you want me to make sure that I take down all of my allies for no reason, also help expand the lead on that. If you want to. It's no pressure. Like wants to, it's not like Adam wants to save, save Peppy or save any of his allies, right? Yeah, exactly. 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 What exactly are you trying to tell them so to do, playing. Adam? <laughs> Alright, uh, don't skip the cutscene. Um, Alright, Macbeth. Macbeth is where we have the Landmaster, the only level we get to have the Landmaster. So, save the ticket away. Alright. So, Landmaster is a tank. Uh, it controls very different from Darwin. Uh, unlike the, uh, the flying levels where we get to hold Z and R to unlock our charge shots, the Z and R have a function in this level, which is the Landmaster, in that they, it activates a booster that rolls you to the left and to the right. So it's actually not possible to unlock our charge shots here. The only way we can actually fire unlock charge shots is to fire them before the lock-on feature takes up. So Adam will be trying to f uh, fire these charge shots before very in very quick succession to make sure that they don't lock on. So right now these rocks are uh, affected by the force of inertia and the yep. force of inertia. The the way that the game dispenses these rocks is not set every time. Oh, that's another that's another way of saying it's random. Yes, this, this is literally the old, one of the biggest RNG components of this entire run. Oh, really? Did not get that? Okay. <laughs> So right now, a bunch of big open space, a bunch of enemies in the sky. Adam's gonna try to hit all of these with the direct charge shots, including these two uh, land turrets. So, you know you got the max number of points on the land turret when you see hit plus two. For some reason, when you see hit plus two, the game gives you five points. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah, but that's okay. That's when we great. see hit plus two on a land turret, it's a good thing. Yes. So right now there's a, a small kind of glitch. We're going to be going on an incline, but Adam's going to be holding up to angle his nose down. And if Adam doesn't change his speed by boosting or braking, these charge shots will explode right in front of us. So he's using that to take out these rocks coming up along with these this group of five enemies. And now another group of four rocks that causes a uh, very large amount of lag. Sometimes enough lag to wrench you can get the shots off. So Adam was able to get that shot off. Now Adam's gonna try to stay on this bridge. Looks like he's gonna. So if we're on top of this bridge at this point, Slippy will get chased by three enemies. Don't ask us why, it's just how the game is programmed, but... If you can stay on that bridge, you get up to five extra points, which Adam got. So once again, Adam's going to try to keep his bomb count at 9, because we want to use all of those bombs in place. I guess I should be thankful. So right now, he's going to try to do as much damage to this tank without killing it, because 
the card up ahead of it will shoot uh, bombs into the to the side to dispense the rocks. It's like a, it's like those candy slot machines. Then yeah, pretty much. Order, and yeah. Then a bunch of candy comes out. It's mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. I hate the banana flavor. By the way. Why? Oh, the banana flavor is the best one. No, it's all about the it's all about the blue and the raspberry. Did you know that uh, artificial banana flavor isn't based on real bananas? It's actually based on an in an extinct variety that you can't get anymore. I did not. Yeah, that's now like, I remember that. Banana flavor doesn't taste like actual bananas. It's not based on the bananas that we actually eat. I think baked bananas taste disgusting. <laughs> I like real bananas. Oh my gosh. All right, so we just hit the checkpoint. This is a okay checkpoint. This isn't uh, on the high end of where I would normally be. Um, but a little bit different here. You probably probably know the whole shoot the eight switches to open the lock. Um, we will not be doing that. We will be fighting the whole boss in its entirety. So. Something wicked this way comes. Yes. Yeah, this boss is essentially a seven minute auto scroller with all scripted events. Another, one, another uh, thing that this route has over the uh, the original school route going through Area Six is that while the uh, going defeating the boss and shooting all the eight switches does give us a hit plus fifty or fifty one extra points, uh, taking the bad ending lets us finish the level with roughly seventy to eighty more points than we would taking the uh, the good ending. But this is another reason why uh, this route is now the world record route. I didn't miss Switch 6. I, didn't, I missed Switch 4, too. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a pretty long stretch. Uh, so if you have any announcements that or updates or other things, that would be a really good time to show them or tell about them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yes, well, this is the, uh, the most exciting boss in the whole run, so I guess I could say something. Um, did you know that BSG supports many small community events as well? You can see events like Harvest Moon Marathon and the Colin McCrayathon happening on our own Twitch channel at uh, twitch.tv forward slash BSG Marathon. That's BSG underscore Marathon. Uh, yeah, we, I don't have any donations right now, but we are currently raising money for Mind, which is a nationwide organization committed to prevent mental health issues and to support everyone who's dealing with mental health issues either themselves or within their family. Every single donation that uh, we receive is going to mine, big or small. We thank everyone who has donated so far. Again, it's only day one, but another couple days of exciting runs to go, so... Um, and I was so glad I got to actually on this one, because this is one of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> You're doing a great... Um, we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you know that worldwide, Suicide ranks as the third leading cause of a youth, a death in youth between the ages of 15 and 19, uh, and is the second leading cause of death for girls in this age group. Early recognition of mental health disorders is essential to reduce suicide rates, improve treatability, and reduce severity of several illnesses, including depression, psychosis, eating, and substance abuse disorders. Mind tries to help bring awareness by providing classes at school to inform youth on the topic and through social media campaigns targeting youth to encourage them to be more open about mental health issues. Oof, that was a sentence. That was <laughs> a sentence. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I quite um, appreciate the work that charities like mine do as someone who's been going through a lot of uh, mental health problems in the past year myself. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, getting charities and, and such to help support me in that um, really, really helped. I, um, I can't remember what I was going to say there. <laughs> the thought has just gone out of my mind. How, how was the boss coming? I, you know, I didn't know that you could get extra hits because mm -hmm. I, I thought I tested this as a kit and I, I, I re distinctly remember not being able to find anything I could hit aside from the boss. Uh, so in some levels, that is the case, um, but this one is one of the rare exceptions. Yeah, I thought they just ran out at some point. But they do. They do, actually. So, this level does have a finite ending. If we go too far, uh, we'll, re we'll eventually reach the Supply Depot, which Peppy said earlier, don't let him reach the Supply Depot. 
Where if we get to the supply depot, the boss will do a kamikaze attack, which instantly kills us. Alright, trick, trick show off. There we go. That's basically uh, rolling and then shooting a charge shot while the cannon is in the ground. Yeah, you're basically yeah shooting while you're basically your reticle is pointing at the ground. It's a, it's a quick shot, it's a quick trick, but it's, it's a nice uh, saver, especially with those turrets. So try not to spoil the incentive. Uh, it's actually important that we keep all of our teammates alive here because we don't want them in Venom because they do steal uh, some points from us. And uh, every two, uh, if your teammate dies in one level, they'll be revived in the next level, or the next two levels. The level up. The yes. Level up. So if someone so if dies we, here, they'll come back in Venom, which is what we don't want. Don't want, yes. And to emphasize that point, Peppy gets chased a total of five times in this. And on expert difficulty, uh, if you don't save him quickly, uh, they can rack up as much as half damage in less than five seconds. Oh, I thought that was going to be a plus three. Dang it. Oh well. Another thing we forgot to mention while discussing expert difficulty is that the uh, the lasers that the enemy fires move at, uh, I want to say, at least five to six times faster than they normally do on normal game. Yes. Absolutely. So they are laser, laser precise. Also, those turrets actually give off a bombs. Which, if sometimes. you're, yeah, sometimes. So if you're trying to do this route and go for bolts, you have to do a little bit of a retry just solely based on RNG, which is why I like to do this level in one go. I don't like to wait around for this level and hope RNG cooperates. Um, so that's what I do, but that's just me. Right. Okay, so the Falco, uh, Falco save there, that is, that basically signifies the end of the boss, or close to the end of the boss, so we'll be taking him out now. Being careful not to take him out, take out this uh, scooper while it's coming down at us. Uh. I think you're fine. Uh, no, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine, Adam. Sure. You're fine, Adam. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, oh my god, okay. <laughs> so there is a glitch that can happen. And one of two things will happen. One, you will get to the end of... You will try to shoot this boss, not be able to shoot it or damage it, get to the end of the level or end of the fight, and the boss will kamikaze into you and you die. Or... <laughs> that... And the boss glitches into you, and you become part of the boss now, and you just keep going on forever and ever and ever and ever, basically. And you softlock. You can reset the level, but not ideal for what I'm trying to do. <laughs> 1998, that's a good year. It was a good year, I think. I don't know. Um, I think this game got released in 1997. Yes. Uh, when it comes to score attacking, is there any rules about, uh, like, losing lives? Like, if you just reset a level, that would be fine. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Un okay. Unless you're doing, uh, what's called single life, then you can't do any of that. Um, but, because once you take a death, that's technically end run. Um. No, that makes sense. But yeah, so yeah. Okay. Bolts! Bolts, 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 bolts. Before going into bolts, uh, Adam, how do you feel? Are you calm now? Yeah, I feel good, yeah. You have exact so we have to use all nine bombs in this level, so essentially if you're trying to get the world record score, uh no matter how well you play in the beginning, you have one shot at this level. Yep. And if you miss it, then you can kiss your world record by. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, a very, very one stressful shot. one opportunity. You get one shot at this level, no matter what. Would you capture it or would you let it slip? We're about to find out. Let's find out. Also your carcass. Yes, you will hear that famous line, your carcass is mine. Mm -hmm. We were talking about that before we came on, actually. Mm -hmm. I've always thought, like, Meteor had some of the best lines. Yeah, some of them did. Some of them did. What the? Alright. Yeah, someone just shot something, so I gotta get that. So. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so something important about uh, all range mode is that uh, the fifth enemy. There it is! Enemy that you 
15 enemy destroy gives you a laser power up. And in this level, uh, we actually use 10 bombs, one being one that comes after the Rob call, because uh, Rob will send you a bomb if you have double lasers. But if you only have single lasers, you only get a laser power. And before we go into it, bombs in this level are worth up to 40 points each, so losing one bomb is huge in terms of uh, score differential. Alright, there we go. Let's do this. Ready? Go. So this is a timer-based level also. So there is, like, an actual reason to have a timer yeah. going for this. Okay, so I'll explain that. Yeah, go ahead. So essentially, uh, in this level, the game will spawn enemies in around in cycles. And... On the map, they all get spawned in a single location, which is, if you look at the, the radar, it's the very right side, the middle of the right side. So what Adam's gonna do is he's gonna he's gonna fire a bomb at the start of one of these spawn cycles, and what happens is that because all the enemies spawn in the same spot, if you can hit one of the enemies with the bomb, uh, the explosion from the enemy will just trigger a chain reaction. And which will basically kill the, en the next enemy that spawns, and the next enemy that spawns, and the next enemy that spawns, and so on. So if we can fire a bomb into that spot, every enemy that, that gets destroyed within the while the bomb is active, Adam will get a point for it. And because the bombs are active for roughly 40 or so frames, every bomb is worth uh, around 40. Egg. So it, it, in order to time this properly, you actually need a you're actually going to require a stopwatch because the uh, the window of opportunity is around a half a second, give or take, and uh, every bomb that doesn't hit that spot loses potentially 40 points. So regarding the mission, uh, the mission is over when all uh, core pieces have been destroyed. There are eight in total. So Adam's going to destroy seven of them because uh, they do give you hit plus ten, and their their values do prorate. Um, we give you less as time goes 45 on. 45 or 46? I want to say around 45. Uh, you do you. So that timer, uh, once we see an enemy spawn from the right, it basically starts, the st it's a signal to the start of the next cycle. So every cycle, enemy cycle, is around 70 seconds, but it is affected by lag. So uh, there are... Three cycles after this one, which Adam is going to try to get uh, the glitch on. So let's we'll see, we'll see how he does here. Uh, Slippy gets chased infinitely. Basically, yeah. Slippy just constantly gets chased. So actually, uh, when, when the enemies spawn, there's three enemies that are distinctly programmed to chase him. Hey, he was At every time. Right now, Adam's going to... Try to clear the field as much as possible. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. And he goes for the approach. Einstein is so famous, his uh, the calling someone Einstein sarcastically is just transcends it's like all universes. And my Adam actually got the glitch, so as we if you listen if you listen to the sound, you can basically hear like a machine gun going off. It's basically the enemies destroying itself into each other and now Adam's gonna fire bombs into that singular spot you can see his score racking up insanely and uh, I think every I want to see every three enemies that spawns the ring you almost see like a kaleidoscope of rings coming down it's pretty neat uh, 30 so four five four oh three need to launch these are just mental notes that yep. you have to keep track of. Yep. 403. I don't know if I would be really happy about that find or really sad because after spending, like, if I was a score attacker, spending several years getting good at Sector 6. Alright, just breaking to buffer his time. There's the bonfire. And he got it. So he's got one more bomb to spend. The uh, the medal for this score is 150, and uh, we're uh, 
really past that. <laughs> All right, cool. Come on. All right. Oh, okay. So the enemies still are somewhat spawning in. So I'm gonna try get a few more here. All right, that's all I'm gonna get. That's fine. But yeah, so that's basically what Bulse is. That is why you need ten bombs. That is why you only get one shot at the level. Uh, yeah, because if you restart, you start with three bombs. Shut up, Slippy. Oh, by the way, who? What? What were the final results? Is it no one? We're saving. Yep, you are saving none of the team members. Yeah, I like that. That's what I normally do anyway. So that makes my life a little easier. You said that with the most evil grin on you. I know, I did, but I don't really care. I like that. It pleases me that my teammates will be to their demise will be soon. Yep. Basically, so we just got we just got a few more little cleanups to do. And the enemy spawn went away, but alright. Uh, so we will be getting about 600 here. Which is pretty a very good for a bull score. Uh, at higher level. Um, Adam, I don't have that yet. You'll get there, safety. Don't worry. Oh, Peppy almost crashed into me. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. So let's just do some cleanup. Uh, ooh, I almost ran into that. That would have been funny. Um. Uh, do we have? Do we have any uh, housekeeping things while we're while I'm just doing this? Yeah, we got a very a quick donation here from. Oh. Uh, sorry, let me just read it. Uh, Valley Commander, uh, $17 with no comment, but thank you very much. That's actually brought us to 619, sorry, not dollars, euros, 699 <laughs> euros. Ah, so close. Yep, over two thirds of the way to our first BSG uh, total, and it's only day one. Wow, that's, that's really good. <laughs> wow, thank you everyone for donating so far, it's been great. As an, yeah. as an advocate for men uh, mental health, also myself, dealing with stuff, I, I'm really glad to see that there's want to do to help out with this. Alright, come on, Falco. Please die. There we go. Okay, Slip. Come on. I know my sister thinks you're too pure to die because you're a toad. That, I, that, doesn't, that doesn't change how I feel about you. I, I, I feel like there's a logical step missing there. Oh, oh, I missed one. Oops, oh well. That's fine, it's only, it's only a few points. Yeah. Oh, but you killed your teammates, now you can't get the medal. Eh, we don't need the medal. It's alright. <laughs> Who needs medals? Well, actually, you do need the medals if you want to unlock expert mode. And you need all the medals in expert mode if you want to unlock an alternate title screen, which is what you saw at the beginning. So, fun fact there. Yeah, 614. That is very good for a boss on any occasion. So, I I'm very pleased with that number. This will probably be at least 2900. Uh, I'll have to see how things go here. I do have to do a quick reset here to start, because uh, I do need three bombs for this level. Um, but yeah, I don't think uh, a life is going to be that bad to start, since I have 24 now. So, <laughs> I don't think lives will be a problem. Uh, best way I can describe bolts is... There's a lot of things to shoot, and there's a lot of things trying to shoot. We're not done yet. So I'll just let Adam's gameplay do the talking here. As yeah. you can see, Adam trying to kill a lot of things, but are also trying to kill things. Basically. I think you meant to say Venom, not Bulls. Did I say, did I do it again? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Safety has been doing this thing where he means to say one level, but uh, says another. I just started doing that now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Uh, yeah, so expert here is very, uh, scary. Can you get a crate? No. Not quite. Way no. Okay. I got a plus I got I think, Okay, that's not bad. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Thank you. There we go. So coming up in the level, there's going to be a bunch of, uh, forks or path choosing. For some paths, I think going to try to shoot some enemies on the left before heading right, as he did there, to try to get those enemies. A few, a few more enemies will spawn here. Adam's going to fire a bomb on the right path, destroy as many enemies as possible, while going left. 
And the important thing is to get that bomb to travel because a lot of enemies get spawned on the way. They can get up to 10 extra points. Oh, hey, 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 hey. There we go. Coming up on the infamous Splitters of Death. This one, this two. Yeah, these are really difficult to hit. Oh, this three, because of, what the heck? Oh man, wow, what the that just fell apart so fast. Ugh. That's that's yeah. the, that's the unfortunate part about that too, it's like if you miss one, it's like you start missing all of them. Yeah, and look, another thing that Adam doesn't control is that when you hit an enemy and it falls to the ground, uh, it can block your charge shots, which is essentially what happens there. Thank you, I need that ring. Okay, good. Alright. Just don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Please, don't die. Ah, I missed that up there. Health. And suddenly Andros turns into an Earthbender. Yes. Those are his fingers. Before we fight him. How many hands does he have? A lot, um, apparently. Four and a half, I think, is the correct number. Alright, cool. All right, so this will be a 340 because there's 25 points between uh, the boss and the last bit of the tunnel before Andros. So that will be. Uh, those are the, we're headed down the final stretch of points. This brings us back memories of your last speed run. <laughs> My last score run, you mean? Score run, yes. Man, I'm By the way, that was, three, that was not 3K. <laughs> it's a little inside joke. Oh, yes, go, please. Cool. We have uh, just $4 here from Zola23, and they say, Breaking the 700 barrier. Uh, sorry. Breaking the 700 barrier. Let's go. Good luck to all the runners. Thank you very much, Zola. <laughs> yeah, Thank we just you. just broken the 700 with that donation. Oh, nice. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, this is a little tricky. Oh, wow. That is sketch. Yes, I was just gonna say this is Volumek. He fights you by running away from you and letting the, uh, the terrain do the title. There we go. But the, he is defeated. Yeah. He killed him. Oof. Now he's doing the, the best belly flop he's ever done in his life. <laughs> you know those slip and slides? He just did one right there. Mm -hmm. Basically, it was basically a slip and slide. Yeah, that's a good that's a good way to say that. So if so if all of your allies are dead, Fox will actually say that line. To, himself since he's the only one left um, which is why he says there but now we get Dandross well, what we think is Andros. yeah this yeah the robot version of Andross actually because we're doing coming from pulse and not from area six okay so once this one's over he's gonna do another one get the real ending <laughs> yeah no Hey, I'm down. I don't know. I, I don't know if Tech is down, but I'll be <laughs> say Tech would probably be very angry with me at that one, but uh, we will not do that. I'm okay with it. Let him be angry. Oh my gosh! No. Woo! That was close. There we go. Sometimes it can be a little finicky with getting those, getting those little uh, electrical circuits. So strangely enough, because this is the fake Andros, you actually get no points for defeating. Hero. He's actually worth nothing. Okay. Uh, time will be once I defeat Andros, by the way. It's because it's not Andros, it's just the generic Nintendo bosses in every Nintendo game. Yeah, the it's, like, it's, hands. it's like uh, it's like defeating the fake Bowser of the castle, right? Yeah! By the way, I am doing this for lag reduction. Alright, that's time! That's time! GG, well done. Thank you! Right, cool. Alright, uh, so while this is happening, if you guys would like to learn more about score running, uh, please do go to hit64.net. That is the site for all score running things related, where you can get the leaderboards. Some tutorial videos also are available on there, and just a little bit about everything that we do here in the community as well. We also do have some speedrun stuff on there as well that relate to score running, like uh, the 2k% percent category that we have, where your goal is to get 2,000 points as fast as possible. Um, I also stream this a lot, so if you'd like to see me, go f come, come, come by my stream sometimes. Uh, I'm Max 315 Also, safety streams also. Uh, he also does score run, mainly uh, individual level runs as well, so if you'd like to see him 
do what he does. He's more late night than me. And that is a marathon PB. Wow. Hey. Nice. Yeah. 2952. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. That, again, that's hit 64. Er, hit hit 64.net. Or come by my stream, or come by safety streams, or other, any of the other runners that are also on the website there as well. So thank you. Yeah. So yeah, for that, thank you very much. That is all that I have. Thank you guys for having me, and I look forward to seeing what's next. Yep, yeah, I want to say thank you, BSG, for having me as well. It was really a pleasure to commentate for Adam. Adam, thanks for choosing me as your commentator. I love you, man. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's get those donations. And yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. All right. Well, thank you very, thank you both uh, very much, Adam. That was a fantastic run. <laughs> Enjoyed every moment of it. Um, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us as well, safety man. Yeah, definitely come back again sometime. We'd love to have you again. Uh, yeah, coming up next, guys, we've got Shadow of the Colossus, any percent in hard mode, run by Tika K12. Tic Tac, sorry. Tic Tac 12. <laughs> <laughs> Doing Shadow of the Colossus on the PS5. Uh, there is a donation incentive, still $40 to go uh, to if you want to see all the animal locations. So get your donations in for that, for that uh, as quick as you can. We're going to go for a quick break, and we'll be seeing you in a moment. This will be uh, the end of my hosting shift as well, so... I'll be handing you to another host. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the future. <laughs>